Good morning. It's Bobby Dupre with the Bobby Dupre Show, presented to you each Thursday morning at 7 a.m. And of course, uh, many of you watch it uh, on Sunday afternoon. It repeats in, in its entirety at 3 p.m. on the uh, cable company's mm -hmm. services. And uh, many, of course, uh, view it on your computer, your internet, uh, any kind of internet uh, device that you have. Uh, we would uh, ask you to refer it. If you enjoy the program, uh, pass it on to uh, a friend, uh, a relative, somebody that might have interest in hearing nothing but good things. We stay out of all the controversies and everything. We don't have to have a bodyguard in our back protecting us or a set of attorneys protecting us. Uh, That's correct. What we say, we try to keep it real positive, and uh, I've done that now about 38 years, so uh, I didn't want the, the security end of it and have kept it clean, and uh, we stay out of the controversies, and, and the controversies are very popular, but uh, it's not my style of living. I'm, I'm a positive thinker. I try to stay away from the negatives, and uh, if you start talking about them, you'll start becoming, if you're not careful, you're going to start picking up a few of their bad points habits. that you kind of like. Bad habits. The, the bad habits. But there's room for everybody. Just watch the Bobby <laughs> Dupre Show when you can. We'd appreciate it. And our sponsors would really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Let's get a couple of them Ooh, right I now. Got, I got a few I can talk about. Let's start with the Piggly Wiggly over there right in Opelousas. Two locations, one on the north side of town and the south side of town. Also a location in Simsport. You know, it's that time of the year. Lent has begun. So on Fridays, I know a whole lot of you are going to go and pick up your catfish, uh, a little bit of shrimp maybe, uh, a little something to stay away from the meat, maybe just plain old vegetable salad. You know, that's, that's salmon. The, the, the lunchtime, I like to maybe have just, just a little bit of salad with no meat on it, nothing like that, a little bit of cheese, a boiled egg kind of thing. Go by Piggly Wiggly. They got all that there for you. And on the weekends, of course, if you gotta ha when you're going to have the meat, uh, they've got all your nice roasts there. I picked up a nice pretty pork roast this past week there. And gumbo weather, you know, the <laughs> freeze is back. So if you're trying to make a little bit of gumbo to put up in the freezer again, go by Piggly Wiggly. They can help you out with those locations. And one more. Let's go with, how about Quarters Casino right north of Opelousas? Um, you get get uh, Exit out of the 23. house. That's right. Get out of the house and go try your luck at gaming there. I know that uh, those machines are new. You know they they redid all the machines. I guess about a year and a half ago now, uh, redid the entire casino area. Redid all the machines. Very very nice. They've got El Pico de Gallo Mexican restaurant and cantina with real authentic Mexican cuisine. And I know that they've got a, a margarita special each day. Uh, with your full meal there as well. And you can also go in the convenience store, get your good Chevron fuels. In the convenience store, they've got Stucky's uh, candies. They've got uh, Subway sandwiches, a full-blown convenience store with all the drinks and everything that you need right there at the quarters. You bet. And uh, we'll talk a little bit real quick about Evangeline Downs and its uh, 2014 stakes. Uh, they, uh, Evangeline Downs will open, I want to say it's uh, April the 9th. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, just a little four days. Uh, Mar March uh, the 1st, the tractors come out. They start plowing that track early in the morning to let yep. all those horses get up about a month ahead of time, yep. I guess, to work out the babies and, and get them ready. this weekend on the 9th, which will be uh, on Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, they're going to have a two-year-old in training sale. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a good opportunity. Uh, maybe you're thinking about buying a horse. Maybe you're thinking about asking a couple of your friends to pool a few thousand dollars together and uh, go and buy a horse. Make a or, syndicate, or, they call that, right? That's what we have. Mm -hmm. We have a three syndicate. syndicates now. Uh, we have some four-year-olds, three-year-olds, and now we have some two-year-olds. Mm -hmm. So, uh, And it's been a lot of fun, and not a whole lot of money uh, has changed hands. Thank God for that. Uh, but uh, Evangeline Downs has uh, set a, a $300,000 Evangeline Downs turf sprint mm -hmm. featuring the largest purse ever for thoroughbred race at Evangeline Down. So uh, they uh, are optimistic uh, that we're going to have a good season. They're going to be putting up some of their money for that race. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you buy a horse at this two-year-old uh, in training sale, mm -hmm. there's also uh, big purses that are offered to the winner if you uh, buy a horse from this sale and it wins the, the uh, two-year-old fraternities, fillies and uh, uh, 
horses. Yeah, you go close <laughs> enough. Close enough. Stallions. Stallions, <laughs> potentials. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, purses are, are, are supplemented mm -hmm. if you bought one in this sale here. So that's another good reason to, to go by and uh, start uh, uh, looking for horses. And uh, there's always plenty of horses for sale. And uh, we want to wish uh, Evangeline Downs, of course, a, a good... I'm starting to feel uh, like, like it's time. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I saw the FM Bank uh, ad, uh, and uh, Senator, uh, oh, come on, Fred, Fred uh, 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 Mills, Mills, Fred we Mills. Uh, he, he, he's quite a character. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the ladies that's shown in the app, uh, she goes by the name of Sam, mm -hmm. and uh, she is engaged to Mr. Crosby. Uh, who's in one of a couple of our syndicates? Sure, uh, very nice gentleman and uh, owner of uh, Crosby uh, Tug Boats uh, down the Bayou Country, and and a, and a big uh, a big operation. They have about 150 of these big tugs. Nice. Some of them ocean going. Stay busy with them. S stay busy. But uh, Sam is a real real nice lady, and uh, just wanted to m mention that. And of course. Uh, Fred Mills looks like a real character. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he's supposed to be maybe making an ad for Mr. Johnny and Miss Courtney Raymond mm -hmm. with Buck and Johnny's. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I think he's going to make one for him. And if, if, the, if he does, we're going to show it here well, on, sure on our program. I've, I've already offered him that. Uh, and uh, Mr. Johnny, of course, uh, y'all keep him in, in your prayers, please. He's uh, had some health issues, but... Uh, He's a ranger, you know, he's an army ranger. He's the first army ranger that I ever knew uh, was an army ranger. I, I didn't, don't know a lot about the different ranks and different uh, highly, specialties. And highly decorated. If, if he had to put all his medals on, uh, it'd take two chests to put them on. Right, and uh, I talked to Hammy Patin uh, yesterday, I think it was, he called me, and he had just recently made a, a visit, a visit. Uh, either Saturday or Sunday. Mm -hmm. He had gone by and visited with Miss Courtney and Mr. Raymond. So keep Mr. Raymond in your prayers, please. If you've got a high school incoming ninth grader who's interested in being involved in, in learning about the medical profession at Doppelsis High School, they've got their Magnet Academy of Biomedical Sciences. It's right there on the side of Doppelsis High, kind of uh, down uh, Karma Shad Lane, I guess, there on the, on the left. They're all set up to teach and, and let, a, let your child go through a four-year program learning about biomedical and medical type things there. If you want to apply, contact Sandra Cormier, 948 8499 That's mm -hmm. Sandra Cormier. You can get your child registered to get all this done. They want them there by March 31st. A really, really good program. We, we failed to mention last week that uh, Dale uh, Earnhardt uh, Jr. Yeah. had uh, won the Daytona 500. And, uh, of course, he had gone through a long racing time there without winning any races. And then he comes up and wins. Finished the, the, high, the, but couldn't quite. Yeah, wasn't get, quite. Get the what, top wasn't one. putting. Wasn't putting that W at the right. back of of his name, and uh, he is undoubtedly. I mean, he he's a, a it's a it's a known accepted fact that he's the most popular driver uh, that came along, and of course, a lot of that uh, is credited, and he gives credit to his father's mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, Dale. It, it, two different, two different guys. His dad was 50-50. Half loved him, half hated him. Yeah. And the boy don't have the don't have the ugly mean streak like the daddy could have when yeah. he wanted to have it. Yeah. But so everybody just likes him. You know? Yep, yep. And it's so funny. I'm I'm leading up to something here. Uh, it, it's so funny. This weekend there was an article: Junior on the road to Hall. They're already talking about Hall of Fame. <laughs> that that uh, he's going to be uh, easily elected. Now he he went through a long period without winning any races, and he but wins the Daytona 500. Oh, yeah. But it, it's it's the total picture. I'm just right. kind of but but it's kind of funny that you say Junior on road to Hall. <laughs> well, we all knew that, but this uh, win here. Uh, I've seen it his career over such a long period. I mean, yeah. he won the first one probably 15 years ago, it's I guess. It's been a while. Oh, yeah. In fact, uh, that he, what, that was the race that his daddy got killed in, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. I think so. Uh, I think that daddy yeah, was Daytona. putting a block in and uh, hit the wall. Up. Yep, yep, I, I, I think. How about this? I, I tell you where I could find that out real easy. 
that be uh, Jimmy at the point, Jimmy oh, yeah. Como at the no point. Doubt. We've, we've got coming up, uh, we always talk, talk uh, good, good things about the Opelousas Lighthouse Mission. That's the men's shelter in Opelousas. Coming up in May is their big golf tournament that, that's going to be like May the 12th. Uh, if you're looking to join up and to try to help out and you want to be uh, one of the players, call 351-7851, Mike Fontenot or Johnny Carrier. Ask for either one, 692-7988. You can get involved and, and, you know, I know this is early, but people want to get their flights together, so you may want to give them a call. It's going to be at the Indian Hills Country Club, our good friends, the Young family that have that. If you've got any kind of fundraising event or any type of get-together type event, the Indian Hills Country Club is the place to have it, either the facility inside, if you're trying to do outside type stuff with the golf course, swimming area and all, really, really nice facility. The uh, Seven Mile Yard Sale, which uh, has become a, a popular, uh, at least uh, semi-annual, about twice a year now, they're having this uh, yard sale from uh, Sunset Grancato to Arneville. And the people all along the road uh, put out different items that they want to sell. So, so you're going to find just about what you want uh, somewhere on that seven mile run. And uh, it's some antiques, some mm -hmm. crafts, some art uh, treasures. Uh, they're going to have food well, you, available. You start in Grand Couture where they got a couple of the antique shops and they got all kind of great shops in the Arneville Inn too and um, in between. And then you... in between people uh, making right. it and it, it's a real popular. Day. This is March the 15th. That won't be uh, this uh, coming but, weekend. It's going to be mm -hmm. the following Saturday from right. 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Just want to kind of put you uh, on notice kind of like I did with the horse sale this Sunday at Evangeline Down. By the way, even if the weather is bad, it's held inside the event center. So, right. uh, and that's heated and uh, air conditioned. So either way, uh, you're going to be uh, properly uh, taken care of. And we want to remind you that the uh, Slimco scholarships are coming up. You have to get uh, registered for that by May the 8th to get your Slim Slimco scholarship. Uh, your child needs to be in school, I believe, uh, less than 24 years old. They already have to have so many hours uh, in college. They're going to give 20 $2,000 scholarships, and they're going to give them out at the annual meeting on June the 7th. But you've got to get your application in by the beginning of May. So go to slimco.com or look in your Slimco bill. You're going to find that piece of paper in there. You can fill out the form, and you can get all nice and registered with them. And we just want to mention again with this cold weather, uh, they're trying to scam uh, particular us older uh, folks. Uh, they call you and they tell you that they didn't receive your payment and all that, and uh, they have a crew working uh, in the neighborhood. They'd be glad to go by and uh, pick up the cash money and, and mm -hmm. give you a receipt for it. Well, when that happens, uh, that's uh, kind of a, a, a uh, it kind don't of don't trust it. Don't don't trust don't it. Trust don't it. trust <laughs> it. The only thing that uh, you can trust is uh, Steve has a new warning system. Uh, he put one well, minute clock, prior. You saw that, huh? Yeah, Boy, that clock oh, is nice. I'm telling you, man. Steve, you 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 getting you trying to take uh, Matt LeBlanc's job <laughs> permanently. <laughs> Well, Permanently. Look, we're, we're getting down right now. We're, we're almost at the point of taking a break. Th 30 seconds left. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to a commercial break. And also, as part of the commercial package, there's going to be a message from Bishop Jarrell all about Lent and about what do your ashes mean that you've gotten on Ash Wednesday. I think we can find two things that the ashes represent. First of all, death. And uh, secondly, repentance for sin. When people come up, uh, for the ashes and the minister imposes the ashes, he has a choice of two formulas to mm -hmm. say. Uh, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Well, the ashes are reminders of that, and reminders of our death, mm -hmm. and that one day we shall die and have to give to God an account of our lives. But ashes are also traditionally a sign of repentance for sin, so the minister may also say, repent and believe in the gospel. Mm -hmm. So it has those two okay. meanings. Mm -hmm. 